Well, thousands of high school seniors will be graduating pretty soon, and there are so many options out there after they walk across the stage. And some choosing college and others actually planning to enter the workforce. Our Jarrell Baker spoke to one student who says he has it all planned out. Good morning, Jarrell. Yeah, good morning, Sharda. Isn't it great to have it all figured mm. out right after high school? <laughs> I still don't even have it figured out now. But <laughs> college is for, isn't for everyone. And it's not just schoolwork, student loans, and living away from home are also factors. Now, there are currently many options geared towards setting up students for success. I spoke with a high school senior from Moody High School about his plans to head straight into the workforce after graduating. Noah Hernandez is finally putting the finishing touches on his fire pit after weeks of hard work. Really, you just go cut you a couple pieces of metal and you just start going at it. Noah started welding a year ago in his ag class at Moody High School and fell in love with it. I've always been more of a hands-on learner and with welding, every, it, everything's just hands-on. You're always doing something. After he graduates, he's looking to go straight to work. It starts with getting certified through high school and coming like, I don't know, another two months, I'll take a certification test, get that, and hopefully enroll in a TSTC as soon as possible. Noah's not alone. A recent U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics report shows undergraduate enrollment fell 8 percent between 2019 and 2022, the largest decline on record. Charlie Ayers with Workforce Solutions of Central Texas works with over a dozen local high schools helping students find jobs. He says he's seen a rise in students interested in joining the workforce. Some of these careers with an industry recognized certification, students can make a good living and they're not really required to have four years of college to do that. Noah says student loans are also a factor. I don't actually plan to take out any loans. I want to pay for it all myself and I just want it to be self-made. Noah's mom and dad didn't go to college and support his decision. My mom's been a correctional officer for like 22 years now. My dad's been in the concrete biggest business for about 30 and really they're really supportive they want me to go do what i love that's good for noah man that's such a go-getter right there now he plans to continue practicing on his welding skills and he's hoping to land a job by the time he graduates so we wish him the best of luck here now if you're graduating and you want to share your plans after graduating hit us up